Our producer Steph told me that your husband wrote this script. Did he really? Yes, he did. Okay, so the, it's based on a, a book by Sheila Williams called Dancing on the Edge of the Roof. And my husband, Roderick Spencer, wrote the screenplay for me. Wow. I said, I don't need an anniversary, birthday, or Christmas present, because it all happens within two right. months of each other. I said, just write this script for me. I knew oh, he wow. could find, I knew he could find that. And of course, I just howled a as I read it and all. But he came up with a conceit of Blair Underwood that you guys will discover in it. He <laughs> said, I've got this idea. Blair Underwood is her. Is that a spoiler to tell what he is? No, no, go, OK, go, go. so B Blair Underwood is her fantasy boyfriend. He said, but it'll only work if Blair will do it. So he called Blair and said, I'm writing this. Blair said, I'm game. So it, it was perfect. Now, my- That is so weird that your husband is like, you know what right. I mean, kind of setting you up. But, OK, so Blair Underwood <laughs> is my fantasy one, but Adam Beach is my real life one. <laughs> See, you know, when you're grown and you get to say who you want to be in it, you can have who, whatever tenderoni you want, right? <laughs> but, so my, my son was 20, I have a son 25, a daughter 27. I sat next to my son watching it, and he said, oh, mom, oh, during the love scene. And I said, your father wrote these for me. He goes, that's even weirder. It is weird. <laughs> it is. It's so weird. But it's kind of cool and sexy at the same time. Yeah. It yes, is. it is. <laughs> so is there a role that you were more attached to than others? And is this one of them? Is Juanita one of them? Are there ones that you just felt really close to? I love Juanita because I get her and she is unapologetic, finally, in yeah. her life. You know, I've done some really remarkable women, some fictional, but some historical. But I'm not as serious and, and sort of heavy as mm -hmm. most of the people I've played. So the ones that I am closest to are people like, I did this, this thing called, uh, oh God, Miss Firecracker, and I played Popeye Jackson yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I played uh, Mariah, uh, Mariah Dillard Stokes in Luke Cage, and she is formidable. She is a gangster. <laughs> I love it, and I love her because we're always, from the time we're three years old, we're told, you know, be nice. Be nice, be nice. I know. And she is just. You want to be a bad She yeah. is like a. Mm. A you're man. doing it right now. You're like, you know Grr. what? <laughs> and the other one, Popeye, she just makes me laugh. So yeah. they're probably they're more towards women that I would want to hang out hang out with, out with right? Yeah. Or, or right, like yes. you want to go roll with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hear that you keep your awards, of which I'm sure there are many, on the floor. Why? Because I live in California. You just keep everything on the floor? Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't they have shelves in California? <laughs> they do, but they have, occasionally we have like a big quake, but there's oh, little, there's little timblers all the time. Duh. And even I can, now I'm like, I get a, it. I'm like, what do you mean? Don't they have bookshelves? And <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So I, I think I have four Emmys and oh. the first two, it was the big quake when Duncan, it was, it was 94 because Duncan <laughs> was 10 days old. Right. They came down off of the top thing. They, they went, could kill, they went, they could seriously hurt someone. The carpet through the, into the floor. Wow. And so, one of the images fell through the world. The other one, the, the wings fell off and all. But those wings could hurt. Like, they could literally take an eye out. Oh, you yeah. Know what I mean? They are the murder weapon. Oh, they are. Yeah. So what I yeah, do is I, get it. I, I so keep them on the understand. floor. And you see them all the time because you sit on the floor a lot. Right, of course. And then I have one from El Nino where there was a flood and it, it, it flooded one, the den. So they all have, like, weather damage. That's hilarious. <laughs> but I think that's so cool. They've like been through it. But, yeah. <laughs>